Hey guys, Brandon here with Exotic Diecast bringing you guys another review. I know this one's a little delayed. I ended up unboxing this car a while ago and I'm just now doing the review, but hey, better late than never. Um, but yeah, obviously this is the 118 scale Welly Aston Martin DB9 in this red. And in case you didn't see my uh, unboxing video, you can pick this up on Amazon for about 65 or so dollars. Uh, link in the description to where you guys can pick one up uh, directly from Amazon. But um, as far as the colors they make it, I got it in this red. I believe they also make a black. Uh, uh, not too sure about what else. But anyway, like I said, link in the description. You guys can just browse around. Um, but anyway... This was my first Welly uh, car, and I got another one the day after I got this one. But this is my first Welly car. A lot of people were recommending for like the longest time since I started this YouTube channel to get a Welly, and I just never even looked into them, but then I did, and I figured they have some pretty cool cars, including an Aston Martin, because um, I personally didn't know they made one, so whenever I see a nice looking 118 scale Aston Martin, I'm thinking it's auto art, I'm thinking it's over $100, but in this case, 65 bucks for a very nice uh, model. Um, but anyway, we'll just kind of go ahead and uh, just kind of go around the car here. We'll start from the front. Uh, this red is a very nice uh, scaled red. What I mean by that is the pearlescent paint looks actually realistic. It's not too pearlescent like some model cars, and then it looks like a model car. This actually looks too scale. Uh, but anyway, starting out with the front here, the headlights look very, very nice where the LEDs would be right here. A nice and clear lens. Aston Martin logo, a little sticker there. Kind of a chrome uh, grill here, and then I, as we know it, the Aston Martin uh, grill shape. And then kind of a carbon fiber look to uh, to this kind of bottom mesh here. Uh, it looks very, very nice. It's like actually clear in there. Uh, kind of a reflective plastic, but hopefully the close-up will show you that. But that is actually kind of cool. Um, anyway, side profile. Obviously, fantastic angle on Aston Martins. You can kind of see, see the length of a DB9 compared to like a Vantage or something. Anyway, we'll start with the wheels here. Uh, very bright red calipers, brighter than the normal paint. Um, and then the actual brake disc uh, rotate with the wheels through the brake caliper. So I know many of you guys like to see that uh, realism, obviously with the back as well. Uh, but yeah, actual wheel detail themselves. I considered slightly uh, painting them black. I think that would look good on this red, but I'm not going to because this silver just looks really, really good and realistic. Uh, so I'm just going to keep like that. So very nice reflective. It's not chrome, but just a very, very good looking wheel in the color. Um, this right here, the uh, that kind of like one thirds kind of uh, uh, air uh, inlet or whatever or exit um, looks very, very good. The mesh on the bottom of it, nice and chrome, it has like the little reflector, not reflector, but like a turn signal there. Very, very nice. Uh, black side mirror it looks great. Anyway, uh, like I said, rear brake disc rotate through the calipers as well. And then also closed windows, which you usually see on auto art and stuff like that. So it's nice that they're doing this on the uh, lesser uh, expense models as well. Anyway, kind of a ducktail wing here. It looks very, very nice, as you guys can see on that angle there. Uh, nice and realistic. Uh, clear taillights look fantastic, actually very realistic. Um, doesn't look like, like some cheaper models I've seen before. The clear taillights actually look realistic. I don't see how they could get much better. Um, the exhaust, nice and chrome. Uh, very, very nice. Obviously the emblem DB9, the Aston Martin logo here. Very, very cool. Kind of a top view. Doesn't really serve much of a purpose, but then the bottom view, as you can see, they did a little bit there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, as far as all the opening parts, we'll go ahead and start with the uh, front engine compartment here. Uh, it has that little badge here, kind of Aston Martin, and then like the last person to inspect it on the real car is very cool. All the kind of like metal looking struts and everything, very nice. Uh, six liter V12, Aston Martin, written all there in different kind of colors too. So they did not cheap out on the engine compartment, so that's very nice. As far as opening the doors here, we'll get into the interior in just a second. And then obviously the uh, the trunk here, kind of stiff at first, there we go. And then just nothing too crazy, just kind of all black plastic in there. But hey, it does open. Nothing uh, like carpeting or anything like that in there. Talking about the interior though, incredibly well done, kind of blew me away as my first welly. Um, yeah, the active steering is very nice and smooth. The pedals are silver with the kind of like the black ported look, very realistic. Uh, center gauges are kind of cool, kind of uh, deep circles in there for the rev count and the speedometer. Side doors look very, very nice and realistic with the uh, sound system there. Just what else? The center console, a lot of different buttons, very, very nice detail, very finely done. Um, yeah, I'm really, really blown away by that. And then the cup holders on the center console as well. Just very, very well done, paddle shifters and all. So anyway, and then that's all the opening compartments on this car. And uh, so now we'll just go ahead and close it up here. And then the suspension as well, should mention that. But then we'll just close everything up. 
And then there's that gorgeous model to look at because Aston Martin's 118 scale kind of rare to see in collection. So it's a nice addition if you guys are considering it. Hopefully this review kind of showed you what it's all about. But anyway, uh, again, link in the description to where you guys can buy it. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.